curb a little bit safer for traffic. So I'll present you with some ideas and then obviously the cost factor and we'll go from there. So um, I actually pulled up the contract and then I, you know, I'll, I'll give you, a, you know, a copy of it I'd like to go over it with you because it's, it's calling for some curb work and uh, I'd like to know where it was that they yeah, he said it was some concrete work that was done. Concrete sidewalk, four yeah. inch, slope but gutter, three inch. Some aprons. Yeah, some aprons. Um, but well, the, uh, they redid them at High Street and uh, Cross Street, didn't they? Right, well, that, and they did, these are the, the blue slate, so they didn't do anything with them. Yeah. They did a couple of aprons, and then now the roots have grown, it's pushed it out. Uh, the lines are over side it is it, you know in my opinion it was striked it properly uh, yeah, and we've had a couple and already they, mishaps with cars and they don't they don't guarantee those lines because here's the charge for a thermoplastic striping so um, the, the response I got when when I had said look this needs to be looked at and redone was there's no money to do it okay we'll, we'll talk about it right. again Anyone else have any old business? Good question. Didn't we have a grant that went out uh, regarding the uh, bridge being fixed on Lake over here with the uh, accessibility issue regarding the fact that there's no handicap accessibility? You mean up, up here on Park Drive? Yeah. Yes, and I believe that is due sometime this spring. They're going to do this whole run up here okay. with the sidewalks and the handicap, and that needs some additional work to it, too. I'll see if I can get a, a definite date on the, you know, at least the, when the pre-construction meeting is. Anyone else with old business? Okay, new business. I know we have the library issue. Yes. So what's the structure that we have to do that? You take a motion for action. Motion for action to pay the, uh, assist the library to pay the uh, bills approximately $2,000 subject to the chief's review. He knows the number. He just take an action to take a um, vote on that. But it would be in the form of a motion to pay for the libraries. There's two uh, two outstanding meeting bills that the council's aware of. Okay, you guys heard them. Do I have a, a motion for that? Paying the library bills. Motion. I have a motion from Mr. Jones. Do I have a second? I'll second. A second from Mr. Belton. Did I have a roll call? Mr. Belton? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. DePapa? Yes. And Mr. Dell? Yes. Other new business? No. Thank you. What is Monday the 4th, right? Yes. Right. Monday the 4th, 7 to 9, uh, we're going to have a work session. So uh, it's going to be uh, a few things that we have to, that we'd like to talk about and Certainly, whatever you want to talk about. So, um, again, Monday. This is the first Monday. It's the first Monday. Mm -hmm. first, Monday. Mm -hmm. first Monday of the month. <coughs> seven to nine. Right here. Where does historic now. preservation meet, Chief? Does historic preservation meet that month? <laughs> no. Do they meet here on the, yeah. the first Monday still? The, yeah, depending on also. We could set up another room or you know area for them or okay i just want to make sure that if we had a meeting scheduled that we uh did come yeah, ahead of time i'll get with leash and see what the size of their agenda looks like and everything like that and then we'll you know we can coordinate from there and 
do what we have to do from there. We don't put anybody out. Okay, so um, that's all for the new business. All right, matters to be presented by the public. <coughs> Read this thing here. Uh, please state your name <coughs> and address for the record. If any member of the public has a matter to be presented that pertains to housing and or police matters, please see Chief Martin. If anyone would like to discuss or ask any questions of the resolutions, now that's, uh, please, please feel free to do so. we got to change that a little bit because resolutions we've already kicked around by this point. So you can, you can talk about them again if you want. But and then we put that other piece in there for so you So you want that whole line out then? Yeah, just take any, any, you know, ask any questions. Please feel free to do so. Okay. Uh, you're going to start it again on my right, your left. Second row. Next row. Uh, my name is Anthony Carnegie with Two Kids Tribe. Uh, so I had a couple questions to ask and stuff. One of them reading in the newspaper. Um, one, the Township of Mount Holly does not have a rabies vaccination system in place. Um, all the surrounding townships do. Uh, I checked with West Hampton Township and East Hampton, and both of them said they were either county or state funded. Uh, there was no cost to the township to obtain this. Um, Thing would be something that we should, the town should look into and maybe uh, see if it's something that's doable and we can obtain funds without any cost to the township on setting up a rabies vaccination for dogs, cats, and I guess if there's any other kind of animals in the, count, in the township, uh, that would be done. Um, the other thing is... One, one thing. Sure. Right. I'll, take, I'll take them one at a time. No problem. If you want to look, look into that, look at that. Go probably pay for out of the uh, Animal Trust or dog, I call it Animal Trust Dog Trust Fund, which okay. is what licenses and everything like that are paid out. We have to maintain a certain amount of money if we have a stray that needs medical care or euthanized or something like that. So, I mean, that's, I can see that's an acceptable use of that. Yeah, anymore. it is. And they um, supply the, to now, they have supplied the vaccines and the needles, they no longer supply the needles that these stores own vaccines, I believe. Okay. So you only have to cover the cost of the needles. people that run the clinic. And, yeah. Okay. Well, I know that the county does have that program. It's state funded, right? yeah. yeah. It's state funded, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll address it at the next meeting with a follow-up from the uh, acting manager. What, what else you got? Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <coughs> On one road, well, you mentioned earlier the um, live and work scenario of live in the township, live in the township, the way to work. Is that going to apply to the manager position? Say again. Is that going to apply to the manager position? Is that where it is Chief well, Martin going to maintain that position permanently? Well, just just to be clear, do you know what the program is? It's, it's well, I thought the, in layman's terms, it, if you want to work, if you want to be in a township employee, you live no, in the township. No. Uh, okay. You're talking about right now residency requirement. That would be. And, um, actually, I just had that in my file. I don't know where I dropped it off. But um, uh, that's a separate issue. That, if, okay. if you want to talk about that, address it as another question. But live where you work is a program where um, if you, when you live in the town that you work in, you qualify for um, mortgage, right? Mortgage is uh, lower mortgage, rate mortgage tax things through the uh, state it. mortgage program. Mm -hmm. you know, um, okay. So there's incentives for you to, if you work at Virch Virtua, for instance, to live here, you know, okay. if you work for the township to live here, um, there is an incentive there as well. You know, as long as you're working for a business that's within the 2.9 miles we have, then you, you can, you know, go to that program. Okay. Right, so but it's not a residence requirement okay. uh, in, any, in any shape or form for a job here in the town, uh, uh, you know, here at the township or any business in town either. You know, it's just an extra little incentive so that enough. folks will live here and work here. Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, the manager position, is Chief Martin going to maintain the position or is this going to be a temporary <laughs> thing? <laughs> I was trying to be subtle. <laughs> 
and when when is that going to take place in the search for a new manager? The uh, search for the new manager started last year, and it's, uh, it's it's you know it's still in progress. Steve's doing a great job. You know we have a uh, you know an opportunity here with Steve filling in as the acting manager to get um, uh, a lot of things done to the point where. When we get the full time manager, if we go full time, we have a, we have a lot of different things we still have to kick around. We we don't know uh, if we're going with a full time manager or part time manager, um, but we do have a quite capable guy over there. And yes. Right now, um, we're dealing with the clerk position first, and then we're going to deal with the manager position. So right now we're dealing we're interviewing for the clerk. Okay. Once we have a clerk in place, then we'll start uh, addressing the, uh, the manager uh, position. So okay. um, if that doesn't answer it, then yeah, that's anyone else got a better? Yeah, close enough. Okay. Close enough. Right. Um, just having to see. Um, when you just mentioned paying the library's electric bills, is that something that the town, I've been reading a lot about it in the newspaper. Fuel bill. The fuel bill. Um, and stuff is that something the town is going to continue to do? Because I know, in, according to the newspaper, it kept saying, "Is the township or isn't the township going to uh, supplement the shortage of the library expenses?" Is that something that's going to continue to happen? Or? You're, you're, you're tough tonight, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I work second shift, so I had a couple weeks off, so I saved them all up. I never <laughs> 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 all right. well, uh, you said you read it in the paper, right? Yes, sir. What did you read in the paper? Uh, it was undecided. There's a quotes in there. It was undecided. All right. Well, what, what it said was we're, we're, looking, uh, to, we're working with the library to save the library okay. and buy it some time until the county can rule on what the county's position is going to be with it. You know, they just had a, de a dealing with, it with a library situation in Medford. Correct. They're, they're, you know, that thing has to be aired out and, you know, uh, then the county hopefully will schedule us on, take a look at us, and, um, you know, we'll go from there. So right now, the, the library is in desperate need for funds to keep the doors open, and we just voted to keep the doors open. So okay. basically, uh, on a temporary basis, um, until we can get a uh, more permanent, you know, solution, you know, in place. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Something more. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see a bunch of people. You know, okay. Uh, um, I'm wanting to, you know, sorry. kick you off of that spot. Go okay. Ahead. Um, and being, I mean, I'm, I'm a union electrician. I work up North Jersey. I have a couple guys on the job. I always take the Burlington County Times with me to work. And we end up swapping newspapers. Yeah, you're going long now, though. Come on. You're okay. All right. All right. You want to play? <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, to Everything that happens at the Burlington County Courthouse yeah, get says here. Mount Holly. Yeah. Is there something? any way that we yeah. can change that? One because point it gets a Burlington, bad look. Yeah, well, at one point, the Burlington County Times, you know, um, under Jewish <laughs> Dyson, uh, you know, took it easier on us a little bit, you know. Uh, I'd like to see it say Mount Holly Courthouse. It's just right, right. one county of Burlington Courthouse. Anything something. like that, right? Right. Why don't you take it to them? You're a bigger guy. Okay. Go on down there and say, you know, why are you doing this to my town? That kind of thing. Because, you know, not only do they do that to us, but when they list stuff like st crime stats, instead of just exactly. listing the top three, they go for that fourth. You know, right. like after Bronx, what do you got? You know, but they're going to always stick that, stick us in there. You know, stretch it out. They're going to go to the fourth position, the fifth position, not just keep the top three. So there's a couple of things there that the Burlington County Times does. You know, um, <laughs> that one right there has been kicked around, I don't know, all the time I've been here. So, right, right. You know, continuously. Yeah, well, right, continuously. You know, they, they, they constantly put a little ad in there. That